Welcome back for another Top Notch video. This week we're going to be talking about May 7th through May 11th through the trading week. If you have a TSP account, Roth IRA, or brokerage account and you're in the markets, this video is for you. So let's get right into what happened for this week. What we're going to basically do is go over a general market overview. So for this week we start with the S&P 500 or the C fund. And we have that right here for you guys. The Indice we follow is IVV for the C fund for the S&P 500, or the chart of the S&P 500 or the C fund. As you can see, we had a lot of negative energy slowly creeping down as we have been for the last one, two, three, four, five, six. That would be the seventh week. This blue line is getting real close to the red line. Typically when they cross, we see positive price action. So hopefully we see another nice long run up after uh, the lines tend to cross, so we're waiting on that. On our two day chart with the S&P 500 or IVV, we are above that line so far and we did have a fake out and it is, it is starting to take off again. I, I think we could see another real good week with the uh, IVV. This is a good place to have your funds for the most part. So let's move on to our next fund. Our next fund is the S fund or the Dow Jones. The ETF is VXF with VXF or the Dow Jones. So here we are. We have even a little bit more positive energy than we did on our S&P 500. As you can see, I could probably see this line crossing for this week on our weekly chart. Really, really good positive energy. Price action starting to pick up here, so we're doing very, very well. On a two-day chart, if we look at that, we are... We had a little bit of a fake out here, and we are taking off once again, so that is very positive. That's two, four, six days of positive price action moving in the right direction. Um, looks very good on a four-hour chart. Let's take a look at that real quick. A little bit descending here, but I, I'm, I feel really, really good. We had some great days here, as you can see, all this past week with the S-Fund or VXF and this is where we had some of our funds so just keep that in mind moving forward let's move into the I fund or EFA international markets EFA is the ETF if you have an IRA or brokerage account with that EFA weekly charts we are just about crossing that line guys first positive week of positive energy we could really start to see this tick off now the last time we had positive energy you'll remember back in uh, January we had some significant price price action on the weekly charts so with this cross here I think it might be a good time to stick money in that I fund or I a V or I'm sorry EFA for international markets we really could see it start to take off so keep that in mind as we're moving forward through this week but the last time we had a blue line cross the red line massive price price movement we moved from uh, seventy dollars all the way up to uh, about seventy four dollars in three weeks four weeks time so that's really impressive moving on from that let's move into bonds the F fund or AGG ETF with AGG uh, we typically don't like having AGG for the most part let's take a look at it on our charts with AGG as you can see we are down uh, quite a bit with AGG sitting at the 10586 line uh, below our moving averages and just kinda stagnant kinda got that um, not a very good fund to be in at this time I would not be in AGG let's look at it with our charts really quick as you can see we are still descending into negative territory and we have negative price action try to stay out of AGG if you are in the life cycle funds for TSP I would get out of those and get into the equity funds okay so that is our indices for this week let's look at the week the overall general indices overall for the week so for the week we had the G fund gain 0.06 F fund did not gain anything at all C fund was up two percent two and a half percent S fund was up two and a half percent and the I fund was up a percent and a half a little over a percent and a half so very very good for our indices um, we are allocated 50 percent C fund 50 percent S fund uh, well I'm sorry 45 45 and 10 so we're doing very very well 
This is exactly where you want to be in these equity funds, I feel like. Um, and the Top Notch channel is doing very, very well with these funds. And I'll bring that chart up just to show you real quick. So as you can see, we have all our allocation in the C fund and S fund, 47% and 47%, and then 6% uh, here is what we have. And then with all future allocations going, so that'll be June's allocation also going into the I fund. Really think we could see the iPhone take off this next week, um, especially with some of the major news, such as the Koreas brokering a piece and uh, just some interesting news. Uh, the Iran deal so far, uh, we pulled out of that this week. That'll be interesting to watch, see how the markets react to that. And we'll just have to watch and wait, but that's where we're allocated for this week. If you guys have questions or concerns, go ahead and write them in the comments below. Really appreciate you watching the channel. Please like, subscribe, or share, and we'll see you guys next week. That's another top-notch video.